well, when we were all originally taught about BPC, it was all taught to us. Oral is for your gut because the BPC is going to touch your gut. And then injectable is for your musculoskeletal tissues because you can inject it right over where the area of pain is. And I heard that and I was just like, this just, it, this doesn't make sense physiologically. And I went and looked at all of the research and every single study that is ever, and these all animal studies, obviously, but every single animal study that has ever compared route of administration between oral in the drinking water, between a, the peritoneal injections, which is kind of like an IV sub Q, like it's a little, it's a little different pharmacokinetics or sub Q injection. There was never a statistical difference in healing rates between the three. So if they did a study on transected sciatic nerves, so you got a nerve tissue, mm -hmm. didn't matter if they took it oral, injectable, or IV. And actually in that one study, they even put it on the nerve tissue. And wow. so like, and still no different. Tendon studies, the ulcer studies, it didn't matter how they gave the animals the BPC. They all just got better. Hmm. Now, I understand there are limitations to this. The first limitation is that all of these are acute injuries. And I think there's a big difference with acute injuries versus chronic injuries. I think BPC works exponentially better in a acute injury compared to a chronic injury. And I think just when we look at the animal literature, we see that and we see that too with, you know, just clinically with our patients. The other limitation is, is that these are animals and maybe humans respond differently and, and we just don't know that. That's very possible. And I'm obviously open to that idea. But clinically, I have seen miraculous gut healing back when I used to treat gut stuff with injectable BPC. I've mm -hmm. seen miraculous musculoskeletal healing with oral. And so I don't think it's, you know, where it has to be injectable if you have musculoskeletal and it has to be oral if you have a gut issue. I think that's too black and white and just bro science.